Okay, so I right, got that one. That's number 10. Number 11, that the, your Thai lady is not just into your money and is actually into you. They call and check on you. They should be calling and checking on you. If they're not calling and checking on you at all, I mean, there's a plausible good explanation for all of these, but just not any one of these, but not against all of them. But it, this is another red flag. My expat friends, just oh, I can't say all because there are a couple exceptions, but um, I, I, I know of a couple exceptions. And I know of a couple exceptions to this rule that are good, and a couple I, I don't know. I don't know if they're good or not. And I, and I know, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I know of a couple exceptions to this that are bad. I'm sorry, they're absolutely bad. The guy's being scammed. I know he's being scammed. He's being scammed, and that's just what it is. It's not my business, and there's a whole bunch of reasons why I'm not trying to stop it or go in there and white knight that cause. There's, there's reasons why I'm not, but the guy is 100% being scammed. His, uh, I can't say why I know, but I know. Um, 100%, not 99 But uh, there are other people that their Thai ladies don't check on them, and I don't know the reason. I don't know if it's good or bad. I, I just do not know. Um, so, oh. Uh, just a text from a friend, sorry. So, uh, but your Thai lady, generally speaking, 90% of them will call and check on you frequently. One, they're concerned you're with another lady because women will, the Thai women will try and steal an expat from another Thai woman. It's an unwritten rule, but it is a rule in their culture not to do that. But if for a falang, they'll break the rule because we're worth a lot, and mostly because money, mostly because the same reason a woman will try and steal a rich guy in the U.S., it's the same. Okay, everybody calm down, but they'll break that rule. So uh, the other, but then they should also care about you, you know. So if they're never calling on you, and they're never worried about someone stealing you, that's just, that's just weird to me at this point. That would feel weird to me because it's so against their culture and be typical behavior. That would be a red flag. Again, could be okay. Doesn't mean you have a problem, but you better be watching that one. And if you, I mean, if you're saying, you know, if you're, if you're tripping, a handful or more of these other things, then I'd say, Pally, maybe you've got a problem. Uh, so calling and checking on you regularly. If she does that, that's a good sign. Um, but there's a bad side to that. If she's checking on you and showing an interest in you, which is good, but if you're with other guys and she's doing what I'm going to call a guarding behavior between you and other expats, your lady is uncomfortable with you talking with other expats and it's, they'll physically be inserting themselves literally between you and the other people like a, a guarding behavior. This is like the Discovery Channel stuff here on the plains of Africa, okay? If they're doing this guarding behavior and they don't like you talking to other expats, that to me generally means a fear that the other expat's going to be telling you stuff. You're going to start to learn a little and realize that you're with a scammer or with a lady who's taking advantage of you financially in some way. Some, again, there's shades of gray of all this. People just don't go to scammer school. There is such a thing. But, uh, um, and then that, or not, I mean, there's there's people who are black-hearted, gold diggers and whatnot, and, and if they're afraid, you'll find them out. They're guarding, guarding behavior. That's a huge, huge, huge red flag. I've seen it, and it, 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 honestly, it upset me. I was upset for... Watching that made me sick in my stomach, literally, and I was, it bothered me for a couple of days. I felt really bad for that guy. The British dude really felt bad for him. If it's you watching, I'm sorry, pal. Uh, so, guarding behavior, that's a bad stuff. They don't do the guarding behavior, that's good for you. Um, the 13th, that was 12, the 13th and last sign that your Thai lady is interested in you genuinely and not just your money is she cares about your appearance. Remember, we've talked a lot about this uh, uh, saving face and appearances are huge here. Appearances are how they kind of save face primarily. And so uh, if, if you look, look, you're looking good is really important to their appearance. If they're dating a dirty, Again, the stereotype of us is dirty old falang, D-O-F, or doff, D -O, dirty old falang. And then the dirty sort of a double entendre, okay? Um, uh, that isn't saving face. That isn't looking, she isn't, her appearance doesn't look good if she's dating some disgusting looking old guy. How, do, how is she saving face with that? Please explain to me how she saves face. Oh, your money. So she's into you for your money. But if she cares about your parents, 
Thai men don't go gray until they're over 70 at least. I don't think I've seen one Thai man with gray hair under 75. I've asked because I now, now I've taken this has come up a while ago and now I'm kind of asking like but maybe these are like my little cultural experiment temperature takers I do with my Thai wife as we go through and I this is what I'm reporting and uh, they don't so if you've got white hair that's fine if you got white hair that's fine but you know and if you're over 70 it's totally cool but if you're 58 and you got white hair and she isn't caring at all dude that's odd here that's odd now, that one thing doesn't make or break it, okay? But that's odd. Um, if you're going out in a Falang uniform, and I'm wearing a Falang uniform right now. i got a sleeveless muscle shirt on, but I'm about to go lift weights. And I'm at my own home. I haven't shaved, and I'm not interacting with anybody. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not with my lady, okay? If any of those things were true, I would be shaved and have a proper shirt on, okay, and proper pants. Um, it's winter season, so I'm wearing long jeans right now. I mean, during the day, you know. I'm wearing long jeans regularly now, because I can. Um, so if you're wearing a Falang uniform with white hair, unshaven, hair growing all out your ears, okay, and big uh, Wolford Brimley, the oatmeal guy, uh, eyebrows, you know, inch-long eyebrow hair, and they're not saying a word to you? Dude, that's freaking odd. That's odd. You need to ask why? Now, maybe you're strong-willed and you're into a Western appearance paradigm of just, that's how, back home, that's how I was too, okay? Because uh, uh, we don't care much about our appearance in, in Western culture. You know, we, you see rich guys walking around in, in crappy old rock and roll t-shirts and ripped up jeans and old j sneakers. It's considered uh, um, cool that you're not into your appearance and into flashing your money and then you walk up to your i've seen guys at car shows like this and they walk into their lamborghini and drive off the car show you never knew the guy was rich we go oh man that guy's cool he doesn't show his wealth he here it's not like that here you keep it put together or you don't care or there's something wrong with you like you've got like a like a mental problem or like seriously they think maybe there's something wrong with you uh everybody's put together the guy that sweeps up at at, at one of my my wife's schools uh if you look, he's got jet black dyed hair, and he's trimmed and groomed and has a nice shirt on, and he's sweeping the floor, okay? So your Thai lady isn't going to want to be with you in public when you're going against all that, unless there's a reason. The reason could be you've told her you ain't doing it, and if you love me for me, I'm not going to do that crap. The reason could be you've told her you refuse to wear the, the, the clothes here. You think they look ridiculous. And I kind of agree with you. Some of the stuff I wear, I feel like I look a little silly. Some of it, I'm like, damn, I look good. You know, she's picked some cool clothes for me, you know. And some of it, I feel a little silly. But I care to a point and to a point, I don't care. And if it makes her happy, fine. But you want to watch that one. Normally, she's going to care a lot about your appearance. And what I'm saying is the reason is she needs to look good because appearances are super important here. So I put this one last because it's a biggie. You know, I can almost kind of tell if I see a guy just looking like total crap and he's with some girl that she's all put together. I don't care what a their relative age is, but if she's all put together and he's totally not, what's going on? Last time I saw a guy like that, an expat, uh, his wife hit on me. She wanted me to, she wanted me to be her geek. <laughs> and she's super rich. I think, I think she was going to pay me. <laughs> I felt, I'm laughing about it now, but that bothered me for a long time. I felt super bad for that guy. I felt super bad for him. She was not just flirting. It was beyond a flirt, and I'll just say that. It was way beyond a flirt. She wanted me to geek for her, and I, I'm not interested. I'm just not interested. But I just felt enormous pity for that guy, who didn't speak a lick of Thai, by the way, and had no idea what she was saying to me. Anyway, so. Uh, that's the 13th and final not deadly sign that your lady wants you and not just your money. And that's kind of what I'm going to call this, I think. So probably in two parts. This is a long one. Bye. No. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.